Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know I said I wasn't gonna do Love Island USA, but y'all beat me up. Y'all came me every single video. I have multiple comments about Nicole, Love Island USA, you Love Island USA. So guys, I don't watch the, I finish everything today. I watched it on 1.5, 1.75, and sometimes even two, just so I can get ready for this video right now. So I think we're on episode 11, so I've caught up with everything, and now I'm going to do the review. But guys, without getting to this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know we're up to 30k. I actually can't believe I'm doing this because I, I don't want to do two love islands at the same time, but y'all did too much, so I had to do it. Okay, so the episode starts off with the aftermath of Andrea and Hakim being dumped. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was very, very interesting, the fact that the boys had to pick the boy that was being dumped and the girls had to pick the girls. Because of course, if it was the other way around, the people that were probably supposed to go home would have went home, but thankfully it wasn't that way because my girl, was it Janae? Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Janae ain't going nowhere. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, guys, it's so hot, but let me just carry on. Anyways, um, I'm just confused why everyone's crying. Don't get me wrong, yeah, Robbie's a big character and him and Andrea were getting on well and I agree, I agree, I agree. But this crying is a bit too much for me. It's actually too much. You're going on like someone them died. If he wants to leave, she, like, Love Island USA is, what, like, six weeks long? It's actually not that serious. You're, we are already, what, on week three now. Calm it down. Like, you guys are doing far too much and it's not necessary. Now, don't get me wrong, was it the wrong decision? If I'm thinking objectively, it was the wrong decision, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I still think the, the tears was a lot. I actually thought they were going to dump Nicole. That's who I would have dumped. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't have dumped Andrea. I would have dumped Nicole because even though Nicole was caught in between two people, I don't think it, it don't matter. It don't matter. It's quite, it's quite irrelevant. So for me, I was like, is there some sort of setup here that the girl dropped Andrea? Because that was really shocking. Even I opened up my mouth and I looked at myself in my mirror and I was like, Oh my gosh, I cannot believe these women did that. Yeah, but yeah, Janae ain't going nowhere, so it is what it is. Then Aaron and Rob have a conversation. And guys, why does it seem like Aaron is more upset about the situation than Rob is? And mind you, Rob is the one that's in the situation. Rob is so fake to me. And it's so it's so weird because at first I was like, oh, I like him. I like the connection that him and Leah are growing, but he's so fake. It's actually unreal. So um, Aaron's crying saying that he doesn't want um, Rob to go. But then at the same time, Rob is... And then, I, I mean, I already wrote down, Rob ain't going nowhere. Because if you guys remember season three, Love Island UK, Theo saying to Johnny about, I can't remember what girl it was, but if you want to go, then go. Do you know what I mean? You're doing all this sobbing, you're doing all this talking about what you going to do. No, actually go do it. How about it? You're saying what you're going to do. How about you go do it? Honestly, it's just, it was actually ridiculous. And Rob needs to go where? In the bin. Because all that caricature thing is just, it's not, what he thinks he's given is definitely never given that, guys. He's actually never. And then Aaron was so upset and he was actually doing a lot. He called the girls an idiot, an idiot, sorry, and said that Janae should have left. For me, charge it to the game. I don't understand why he's more upset than Rob is. Again, but Aaron is actually genuine. That's probably why, don't get me wrong, mind your business or calm down, sir. But he's a lot more genuine than Aaron is. And that's, um, not Aaron, Rob is. That's why Rob wasn't even doing all that hooping and hurrying because ultimately he was always going to stay and he don't really care about Andrea. So all that crying that she was doing, she needs to let, like, rest up. Like, rest up with all that crying. So then we see the girls and they are reassuring Jenna saying that, I'm um, not Jenna, Janae saying that we were going to stick with you, we're going to ride for you, you wasn't going nowhere, period. And I love that for her because, of course, she feels really bad about the situation considering all the guys basically wanted her to get dumped instead of Andrea. So I think it was a difficult situation for her to be in and I'm, girl, I'm glad the girls were riding for her 10 toes. They didn't care. So Rob and... Not Rob and Andrea. So yeah, Rob and Andrea have a conversation. And mind you, when she originally got dumped, he said he's going to leave with her because there's actually no point. He said, there's no part of me being here. I found the love of my life. I need to go. This is the, this is the woman I'm going to marry and that's going to carry and bear all 50 of my children. That's what he said. So for them to have the conversation right now, and of course she wants him to leave. 
Um, and she's crying and she's crying. Like she's crying so much. She don't even care that the makeup is running. The mascara is running. She don't care. But what I'm trying to figure out is that y'all have known each other for four days. You guys need to calm it down. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's something in the Love Island water. Because the Love Island UK girls are crying loads. And the Love Island US girls are definitely crying a lot too. And then Rob, again, being the F boy that he is, he almost says, I love you. But then he catches himself. And I'm thinking, how do you say almost say I love you to a girl you actually just met four days ago? He's actually, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to diagnose him. I don't want to start using words that I don't really know the definition or just overused words. But he needs to actually, someone needs to study him because this guy's actually quite scary. He's actually quite scary. And then he decides that he's staying. But then he says, if you want me to go, I will leave, I will leave. So what, you want to put the onus on her? Even though you said you feel like, he, because he said he doesn't want to live life with regret. So that means you want to stay. So what, why, so... Andrea saying that you want, that wanting you to leave with her should have no bearing on you wanting to live with no regrets. Again, it's just acting clowny. I just don't know why he said he was going to leave because in her head, she probably felt like, oh my gosh, this is my person. He's even going to leave with me. He said, F this TV show. It's me and him. But what he did was prove to her that it's not you guys. So from that point on, and it reminds me of the Joanna and Michael situation from season five, even though they were together longer, it's a similar vibe. You said you were going to go. You got her hopes up. You made her feel secure and certain about the relationship that you guys built together. And instead, you decide to stay. Now, I don't have an issue with him staying. The issue is, why did you say you were going to leave? And I know Andrea's all crying and stuff like that. Take note, sis. Take note, sis. Because I actually quite liked her. Really, she's a really, really pretty girl. But take note, sis. That man don't care about you on the same level. He does not because... Him saying that, oh, he's just going to stay and see if he finds any other connections that match it. And, oh, if he doesn't find any, then he's just going to leave because he just wants to get back to you. Don't let this man run weak game on you. Weak game. You're actually an adult. You see how she said that she's never been in a relationship before because she chooses the wrong guys and love situationships? That's, this, this is that. She's not learning from her from her history because this is that specifically. Okay, guys, I've got 17 minutes left until... Love Island UK starts, so let me, let me hurry up. So Nicole and Liv are having a conversation, and thankfully, they are clocking Rob's tea. They're dragging Rob because they're like, him saying he was going to leave and not leaving, it's not making sense, and it is indeed an act. He made her feel like it was real, and it wasn't. And Rob needs to go, where? In the bin. Yeah, again, because I just don't like the fakery. It's just too much. Then Nicole and Kendall have a conversation, um, and she tells him that, she kissed Miguel, but she's still interested, even though she definitely is not. And then Miguel um, tells Liv that he kissed Nicole and she's very cool with it. Aaron and um, Kayla were having a conversation and now Kayla seems to regret her decision. I think it's because all the emotion has come out of it, all the fact that you guys have to defend yourself, people are shouting, energy is high, but I think... If you guys spoke about it in length and you guys made that decision, again, for me, would I have made that decision? Absolutely not. Which is why it makes it feel like, I understand why the rumours going around that it seems intentional or there's ulterior motives because it's actually objectively not a good reason to say that you sent Andrea home because the whole point of it, of Love Island, is for people to be open to people. No, people are supposed to get locked down. People are supposed to get locked down. So people are supposed to lock in. That's the whole, like, we actually need some actual real couples, especially for Casa. We need real couples. And then we need real couples for who's going to win the show. So that's why it actually makes me feel like Leah, like, now Liv holds a grudge now because she's still chucking drinks at, or she was still chucking drinks at Hakeem. Whereas Leah, she's going to pretend like she's the good girl. I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not actually a fan of Leah, I'll be honest, guys. I'm actually not a fan of her. Um, I just even remember when she did an argument with, um... And she had a little spat with Janae and she said to Janae that Connor wasn't her boyfriend. But why wasn't you deeping that and understanding that when it was the initial stage and Liv picked Rob, you were crying about it. So it's almost like, I don't really like the hypocrisy. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not really, I'm, she's not really my girl. I'm gonna be honest, she's not really my girl. But that's why I understand why the rumours going around that they think is BS because it, it, it really doesn't, that's not a good enough reason because they're locked in. It's giving jealousy. Why are you jealous? It's not like all the couples locked in, you get dumped. That's not how the show works out. That's that's very much so not how Love Island works out. So, 
Then we see Rob and Robbie sleeping outside. Mind you, the empty bed that he was sharing, or the bed that he was sharing with Andrea, or Andrea, I'm gonna say Andrea. Andrea is empty. He could go sleep in that bed, but no, he wants to be dramatic and try to go do his big one. So he sleeps outside for no reason. Again, that man likes drama and he's just on some clown-ish. The dungarees are also irritating me as well, mind you. Aaron, thankfully, in the morning, because he's a gentleman, apologizes to the women about him doing not rah, rah He was in the heat of the moment and he did rah, rah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm forgiving Aaron for that, even though, again, he, he went harder than the person involved and that's a shame for him. Kendall feels like a clown because Nicole is getting to know Miguel and he feels like, you know what I mean, that situation is probably dead and gone. It's because Kendall give me clown vibes. I'm not, there's nothing, there, there's actually nothing grown and sexy about him. I don't even want to be nasty, but there's nothing, mm, there's nothing, like, there's nothing, he doesn't give me anything except for like jokes and like, so of course when a man like Miguel comes into the villa, accent and all, of course guys we needed our mixed race square head and we have hit on Love Island USA. Um Miguel's not giving that. He's giving me jokes though. He's like I don't nah. Nah nah nah. Nicole's not feeling it. He's not he's definitely not giving sexy. And then of course you're not even speaking to her as well. So you guys you her speaking to Miguel more. That might be because of you because you ain't you ain't speaking. But at the same time, is Nicole gonna be with Kendall? No. Nah. Leah is now saying she's interested in Rob and I just think this is again and on all these shows we're always gonna find dumb people and Leah is definitely that dumb one um she's saying that when they were playing ping pong she was saying to Aaron that um, Connor is sweet but she doesn't like him she and that's what Aaron picked up on for her to say he was too nice and this is why also I didn't like or I'm not really too keen on Leah for her to say that and, and it's so funny because Janae clocked it she clocked that he quickly she was like I, I hope leah's not dating connor and he's gonna pie him off later and that's exactly what she did they've been coupled up for what five minutes and now he's too nice and now you hate his skinny jeans and da -da -da -da, like but he was always like that but because you wanted to be wanted because rob put you in the bin that's why now you got him involved again connor showed his real his true colors at every couple when he was saying all that foolishness oh it wasn't even a hard decision like connor be mindful of why you're here yeah, I would have put you in the bin in that episode if I had I done the review, but I'm gonna leave you for now. So yeah, I just feel like Leah is definitely playing games. Leah and Connor have a chat, and he says like, explain the thought um, your you guys' thought for dumping Andrea, and then she, that's when the rumor about or the the storyline about Leah and Liv basically plotting against Andrea because they don't like her, and like I said. The reason that Leah gave wasn't a good reason, but it was what it was. Janae and Rob have a conversation and he hugs her. He wants to definitely clear the air because it was a bit of a sticky situation. Then he says he likes Leah and here is Jenna, Jan Janae, sorry, encouraging Leah and Rob to get back together because their connection was stronger, but he violated. He actually, he objectively violated. I remember him getting up when it was like, oh, time to recouple. The guys that want to be recoupled by Nicole and Andrea stand up. And he was like, I'm sorry. And he just, ugh. And you're dead. Like, I, me plus, I'm not accepting him back. Because he made his decision. He made his decision. And he should have also decided to go home. But he didn't. I actually like Cordell and Serena together. My only issue is, is because she put him in the bin and now she's coming back. I'm just gonna keep my eye on it, but I actually hope it's a real relationship because I think they get on so well. Even the fact that on episode one, they were in the same color. Don't get me wrong. Now his outfit, I'm gonna leave that one alone. But the same, let me just talk about the color of the outfit now. I like, and I feel like they have really good energy. Again, it may be more friendship energy, but I love that their chemistry. I think they have really good chemistry and a connection and they kiki together and it's, it's fun. I like that for them, but I don't know if it's all the way 100. I'm thinking like, as we've got a new bombshell coming in tomorrow, that might be more of, um, Serena's cup of tea. So we shall see what is going down. Then Leah and Rob have a conversation. She explains to him that it wasn't a revenge situation why Andrea was dumped. And then she also tells him that she's not really feeling Connor, which of course lets him know that, you know what I mean? You can slide on in if you want to, but no. She says, I still care about you. He then says it back. Again, this is what I'm saying. The same thing with Love Island UK. Why are we making it so easy for the guys that disrespect us for them to have us back? I'm surprised they didn't kiss on the terrorists. I thought it was coming. 
I predicted it, but it didn't happen. I was like, the kiss is definitely coming and it, and it didn't come. So I don't really understand what's going on with them too. It's not really given what you're supposed to have gave, guys, I promise you, but we shall see because I'm not going to forget the disrespect. I can't forget it so easily. Like, we shall see if the relationship grows, but I don't see. And even she even said that every single time a bombshell comes in, he's swayed or he's looking on. So with the new female bombshell coming in in tomorrow's episode, he said, might be turning again, but you shall see. Well, and what is, what's the saying, guys? Well, you don't hear your feel, so it is what it is. Connor is talking about how he, like, he's feeling some type of way. Connor, we do not care. The way you did Janae, we do not care. I promise you, we do not care. If you didn't do Janae dirty, I would have, I would have bust you. But you did her dirty, so I don't care. So whatever happens, happens. And if you get dumped, oh well, sayonara, or sayonara. But guys, so thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. I'm going to try to figure out what times I can post frequently so I can make it make sense. Well, I can watch these videos again on 1.5 or 1.75 or something like that in the morning. Write my notes and then maybe record it in the after. I don't know. Guys, I'll figure it out. But for the meantime, bear with me. But yeah, I'll see you for Love Line UK. Bye.